What's up, everybody? It's me, Chris, here to give my uh, picks for UFC 100. Big card should be a good one, even though it's not really the 100th UFC event. You know, if you count in fight nights, ultimate fighter finales, and all that stuff. Um, but it doesn't matter because UFC is making a big deal of it, so it's good for the fans. Just going to go over some of these undercard fights real quick. Uh, Matt Grice, Shannon Gugarty. Don't know too much about either guy. I'm going to go with Grice just because um, I have trouble picking a guy named Shannon. Uh, CB Dalloway versus Tom Lawler. Go with CB here because he's a better wrestler. Both these guys are primarily wrestlers, but CB's a better wrestler. Hence, I think he's a better fighter. Uh, Dong Hyun Kim versus TJ Grant. Both pretty solid fighters, if nothing spectacular. Uh, I'll go with Dong Hyun Kim to win this fight by decision. John Jones versus Jake O'Brien. Got to go with Jones here. Both guys are primarily wrestlers, but Jones, I think, is a little more explosive of a fighter. And just more, you know, I can't say he's more well-rounded yet, but I think he's got more tools. So go with Jones to win this by either decision or TKO. Mac Danzig, Jim Miller. Danzig's been on a slide as of late. Uh, Miller's coming off a loss to Green Maynard. You know, Miller, I think, is the better wrestler. Danzig struggled, struggled against wrestlers. and On the stand up, it's hard to really say who has an advantage. I can't really tell. Same with on the ground. Probably pretty much even on the ground, is my, in my opinion. But um, I just think Miller's wrestling is going to be the advantage here. So I'm going to go with Miller by decision. Next, Mark Coleman versus Stefan Bonner. Got to go with the young man here. Coleman, uh, you know, Bonner's biggest weakness is he doesn't have the best takedown defense. And as we all know, Mark Coleman's a good wrestler. However, as we saw in the Coleman Shogun fight, the guy has almost no cardio. He never was known for having a big gas tank in the first place, but um, with age, he's really uh, deteriorated in that department. So I expect Bonner to wear him out, may get taken down here and there, but nothing he's going to have to, not going to be a threat to lose. I think Bonner can win this by possibly late TKO if he doesn't gas himself, you know, and take him out late like uh, Mauricio Shogun Hua did. Next up, Yoshi, Yoshiro Akiyama versus Alan Talent Belcher. Akiyama, first fight in the UFC, is coming over from, I believe, uh, Dream. Dream or... Uh, I forgot the, other, the name of the other uh, Victory Road or something in U uh, Japan. He's a big acquisition for the UFC. He's a very uh, famous, um, popular fighter in Japan. Former uh, gold uh, medalist in the Olympics at Judo. Um, so he's a pretty good fighter, too, you know. He's, he, he, he can hold his own on the feet for the most part. Um, I don't know if he wants to really stand and trade down Belcher because Belcher is a very uh, good stand-up fighter. But I think he can hang there long enough to get the fight to the ground using his judo. And if he gets Belcher on the ground, expect him to submit Alan Belcher in the, let's say, second round. But if he can't get Belcher down, then uh, I think Belcher will knock Akiyama out. Dan Henderson versus Michael Bisping. Both coaches on this season's Ultimate Fighter, hence why this fight is happening. Um, winner may be in line for a title shot. You know, I think Dan Anderson, I don't know if he's the favorite or not, but he probably should be. Um, he's beat the better fighters, fought the better fighters, former champion in pride. Um, definitely has the better wrestler. Stand-up's hard to say. Neither guy are really into submissions much. Um, I think Michael Bisping's got better technique standing, but Henderson's got more power with the right. Never really seen Bisping hurt too many guys standing, aside from maybe Josh Haynes and uh, Ross Point for what that's worth. But, um... You know what? I'm going to go with Michael Bisping here. I think he's going to try to fight Henderson the same way that he fought Chris Lieben. Even though Henderson's obviously a much better fighter than Chris Lieben. But um, he kind of outstruck him and stayed away from him. You know, moved in and out, countered, moved well. And I think he'll do the same here because Bisping, much like with Lieben, is a lot faster than Henderson. Henderson's, you know, he's slower and he's older, so it makes it slower as well. I think Bisping's got a little bit better footwork. If Henderson gets him in the Greco-Roman clinch, he'll easily get him down because uh, that's where he's dominant at. And he can probably do some damage on the ground, but I don't know how much damage he's going to do. However, I don't think he's going to be able to catch up with Bisping. I think Bisping's going to try to keep away. As I said, you know, circle a lot, mix in punches and kicks. And I think he'll be able to do that successfully enough for three rounds to eke out a decision. So I'm going to go with Michael Bisping by decision. Next up, John Fitch versus Paulo Tiago. Go with Fitch here by decision. Um, Tiago's coming off the win over Koscheck, but he was getting dominated. Until Kasha got careless and Thiago caught him with the punch and knocked him out. Fitz, though, I just think is a better fighter. I feel bad for Thiago. First two fights in the UFC, you got to fight two top five guys in the welterweight division. You know, Bad luck of the draw, but um, what are you going to do, right? So Fitz by decision here. 
on to the two big fights. Uh, first up, we got GSP defending George St. Pierre, defending his welterweight title against Thiago Alves. GSP's coming off the big win over BJ Penn. For that, he had the dominant win over uh, John Fitch. And for that, the rematch over Sarah. Thiago Alves coming off the decision win dominant as well over Josh Koscheck. For that, he had TKOs over uh, Matt Hughes and Carl Parisian. The Hughes fight was particularly devastating. However, he did come in overweight for that fight. He was really big when that fight occurred. He looked like a middleweight. You know, I assume George St. Pierre is the favorite in this fight for good reason. Once again, better resume, fought and beat better fighters. Um, the more well-rounded fighter, in my opinion, by far. However, I'm going to go with Thiago Alves to win this fight by TKO. Now, don't get me wrong, um, GSP can very well, and most likely, you know, scenario is he will win this fight. But, you know, we saw against Matt Serra, GSP can get caught on the feet. And I've noticed since that fight, he hasn't fought as um, aggressively standing. He's been more prone to take fighters down, even when he was dominating on the stand-up, like in the pitch fight. Um, and I, as a matter of fact, I saw him say something in a pre-hype for this fight, something like, Thiago Alves isn't the kind of guy that you just want to, you know, go into a fight when you want to go in thinking you might get hurt. See, that means that means he's kind of worried about the stand-up, in my opinion, you know. Not to say he's scared by any means, you know. Not, it's not what I'm trying to insinuate. But um, I think Thiago Alves' stand-up's better. GSP, once again, for the first time, will be facing a, a fighter as big and possibly stronger than him. Not that, you know, Kasha couldn't get Thiago Alves down, but I think GSP can, because GSP had just showed a... Probably got some of the best wrestling in mixed martial arts, if not the best. But I think Thiago will be able to, you know, fend off some takedowns. And I think he'll be able to catch George St. Pierre with either a kick or flying knee, possibly, or a punch. But, uh, however, if, if Alves doesn't catch him in the first couple of rounds, then expect GSP to win this fight, because I don't think Alves can keep up with the pace, the cardio pace that GSP will set. So if it goes past the third, definitely GSP, I think, will win this fight. But I'm going to go Thiago Alves to win this fight by TKO within the first three rounds. Um, like I said, expect GSP to win, but I'm going with Thiago in an upset. On to the main event, we've got Brock Lesnar versus Frank Mir in a rematch for the UFC heavyweight title. Lesnar being the heavyweight champion, Mir being the interim champion. Lesnar's coming off the second round TK over Randy Couture, he won the title. Mir's coming off the second round TK over uh, Minotaur Noguera, where he won the interim title. You know, Lesnar looked good in the Couture fight, aside from when he grabbed the fence in the first round. Mir looked very dominant against Noguera. Noguera looked just out of it in that fight. Ward does he had a staff infection going into it. I guess that's a good explanation, because he just had nothing to offer against uh, Frank Mir. So, we all saw the first fight, I'm sure, between these two guys. Lesnar hurt Mir early, but uh, Mazzagotti stopped it, because he gets hit and Frank by in the head. Um, Lesnar made a mistake on the ground, Mir caught him in a knee bar and tapped him out quick. Same thing could happen here. If Lesnar makes one mistake, Frank Mir will capitalize on the ground, that is, and probably submit him. However, I don't think Lesnar's going to do that this time. Although I think Mir is better technically on the feet, I think Brock can hurt him standing, hurt Frank standing with his punches. Much as he somewhat did in the first fight, you know, Frank might look to mix in some kicks on uh, Brock's legs, which might which might force Brock to instinctively shoot him for a takedown, where once again on the ground he could be in trouble. In, uh, you know, granted, Brock can be very dominant from the top position, but you know you can get caught at any moment against Frank Mir. However, I think Brock's going to hurt Frank standing with a punch, jump on top of him, not make the same mistake he made in the first fight, and finish him off. I think he's going to stop him within the first couple rounds. If this fight goes later, it'll be interesting to see who has the better cardio. But um, Lesnar just has to be careful when the fight goes to the ground, if it goes to the ground, not to get caught. I think, you know, hopefully for his sake at least, he won't do that. If he makes one mistake, like I said, Mir will capitalize and tap, tap him out. But um, like I said, I think Brock's going to stun him, finish him off on the ground, and I expect Brock Lesnar to win this fight by TKO. Probably be back on Sunday to give my thoughts after this event, but until then, guys, I'm out of here.